There can be nothing more painful than the death of a loved one. And we all deserve our chance to mourn. But in this time of COVID-19, we all have to play our part in capping the spread of the virus. And this means finding new ways to pay our respects. My name is Ndabe Mieza, and today with Trina Mshope, we urge you to revisit our culture in order to protect our future. The time to act is now. San Bonani, my name is Kumbu Zile. I'm here to remind you of something that you already know. Let's talk about funerals. It is a subject that we often try to shy away from. But our elders have always taught us that birth and death are part and parcel of our life here on earth. For the longest time, it was something that happened from time to time. Funerals were few and far between. Then came this terrifying coronavirus. It feels like a world war. Funerals are every single day. Almost every family has been affected. We have to get used to the strangest thing of not being able to support our loved ones in their darkest hour. Then the confirmation of what the cause of death was. There are also very strict ways in which the body is handled at the mortuary. Following the rules and understanding that the virus stays long on surfaces and even on our clothes. We cannot touch one another and because we cannot grieve in the way that we are used to, we have to control our emotions. We cannot bring the body home to wash and clothe it. That is forbidden too. And the limited number of people who can attend a funeral means there is no closure. Somehow we learn new ways of supporting one another. COVID-19, in his booming voice, demands a reawakening. Sons and daughters of Africa, together we can do this. Our very lives depend on it. COVID-19 cannot be seen, but the effect it is having on our daily lives is undeniable and catastrophic. So we need to take control. The sharing of objects can be a death sentence. The gathering of people can be a death march. We desire to pay our respects, but the desire to keep our families safe should take first place. We cannot allow carelessness at one funeral to mean the attendance of others. Only 50 people to attend a funeral at a time and observe all safety protocols. Please act now. Sivigela Igusasa Leto.